to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Leafs win the draw, and they'll start on the attack. And he takes the pass. Fires it on net, just wide. Grabbed along the board by Middleton. Quick feed to Boldy. And he takes the feed. And he takes a shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear. And they have done that here. Here's a short pass to Boldy. My word, they really got them hemmed in here in their own zone. Oh, and there's a hit on the play. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Puck picked up by Kaprizov. And he comes up with a stop there. They go on the attack from the left side. Centering pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. Pops it away. Excellent hand-eye coordination. And now it's grabbed by Boldy. Sends it in front. And that goes off someone in front. Slides it to McCabe. Tavares has it along the boards. Here's a pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And he can't hang on after that hit. Sends it out front. And that's intercepted. Tandy plays it up. Quick pass to Bertuzzi. Moves into the slot. I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as... He's got a bit of time, but he knows he's going to have coverage come to him right away. So a quick snapshot, and he buries it. Past the midway mark of the frame. The Leafs have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. The Leafs will play it in their own end. And now he passes up to Robertson. Oh, absolutely hammers him. Here's a chance on the attack. In close. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Oh, it stops him again. Looks to make a play over to Gregor. Here they come on the attack. Here's a pass in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Flurry's really impressed me tonight, James. Just look at that last sequence and that desperation save. Unbelievable. I mean, when it's required to be calm and poised, he's got quiet feet. But when he needs to move and make a desperation play, he does it. Well, the official is right there to make the tripping call, and it's a pretty easy one as the stick gets caught up in his opponent's skates. Tavares won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. Long jam in front. That's broken up. His reflex is on display tonight. Picked up along the boards by Tavares. Lest the rest are fly. That opportunity is rejected. Now the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Tavares is at the face-off dot and will try to win the draw as we are about to resume this power play. Oh, my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all James and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck that was on the screen. But it scores! Well, hands, hands, and four mitts on that play. Magic mitts, James, and you know it is so difficult to bend when you pull the puck in tight to your feet.
feet, and man, this was a clinic. But after the deep, the ability to finish two, all the way around, textbook. Toronto's won the draw, they take possession here in the open ice. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Moves it to the middle! Scores! What a finish on the play! James, this is just an absolute clinic and body position how to roll off your coverage. And it's perfectly executed as he doesn't have much time to get the one-timer off, but he gets his stick available and he executes. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. Did you know that season ticket holders get special discounts and access to insider information? Check our website for details. Shooting through traffic is an art, James. Not everyone can do it. You gotta find a way to get the puck through. And when you have players that have the IQ and the shot, this is exactly what you do on your power play. You'll get it up high, and then you'll shoot the puck. But you need net front presence. You need hard, physical bodies in front to be able to collect the rebound and bury it. And turns aside the slapper with ease. Gets the puck over to Goudreau. Taken by Tavares. Moves it quickly over to Matthews. Slides the puck down low. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Fleury. This is just great puck control to put the... Scores! Well, how's that for killing a penalty? That's turning a PK into a power kill, James. Not just shooting it down the ice. You have time and space. Take advantage with a shorty. What a beautiful play as they catch their opponent flat-footed on transition and they create the numerical advantage. Odd man rush, perfectly executed. Speed, puck movement, and of course, finish. Minnesota's look way more engaged since the start of this period, Cheryl, and now they're starting to get some of the rewards. Well, you can certainly feel the energy. There's two trains of thought here. There's the physical side and there's the emotional side of the game. Both are connected for them right now. Moves it to Robertson. And that slides right out to center ice. Toronto's coaches will not be liking that power play opportunity as they fail to convert and give up a shorthanded one. I didn't like anything about that power play, James, and I'll tell you who else didn't. The coach and the rest of the team. You can't give up a shorty. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James, and I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Minnesota's in one tonight. This is a fun one, Cheryl. Yeah, it's really entertaining. It's back and forth action. And listen, they didn't get down when they got down by one. Instead, they continued to press and push, and a nice play there to get the equalizer. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Pokes it away in his own end. Puck scooped up by Riley. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Scores! Off the post and in! Well, that's a real sneaky one that pulled the goaltender, James. Uh, not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. Well, the key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to in the wheelhouse, where they're played, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. Puck grab by Johansson. Rossi's got it against the boards. Puck picked up by Matthews. He's got a step, and that's broken up. Oh, James, he thought he had that one. He used his speed to get that breakaway, and then all of a sudden, the defender comes out of nowhere and stops the opportunity. Great play. Toronto's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. Minnesota's won the defensive zone draw. 
Here they come on the attack. Break away. Oh, hits the post. Tried to go in the corner and puts it just a little too wide. Uh, and sometimes there's pressure when it's one-on-one -on -one with the tender, and there's so many options. He elects for the shot. Might have been the wrong one. Penalty coming up here. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded. James, you got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. Toronto's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. The man has it been effective. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Domi's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Sends it in front. What a chance, but that goes off target off a of body in front. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Gains the zone through the middle. Lilburn's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Domi's got the puck. A silly chance! Available in tight to the goaltender. Anytime you're net front, you want to find a way to get your stick on a puck. This one timer that he's able to get off keeps the goaltender clean. Slides the puck across to Tavares. To the front! And he elects to explore his options. Moves it to the offensive zone. Shot! Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there! What's well, a great save, and I almost think that he ran out of real estate. All alone! Oh! Just look like indecisiveness there. Oh, what a chance here! Takes a shot. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Denies him in close. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. And he denied him there. Riley's going to play it against the half wall. Now a quick pass to Brodeen. Here's a shot, and that goes off a stick. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Here comes the sentence. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. Listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot, and that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1, where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. And that doesn't reach the net. Brodeen's got it in the defensive end. Takes a shot. Stopped with ease. Wall's got to reset mentally and find his game here. I mean, his team's playing really well in front of him. It's a reason why they have the lead. It certainly hasn't been for his efforts between the pipe, but that save has to give him some confidence. He needs to settle in and start making more. Puck sent over to Brodeen. And that's broken up by Domi. but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. Quick feed to Hartman. Chance in front. Scores! And my, oh my, how things have suddenly changed here. Uh, it's the magic of one goal and the impact it can have, James. You go from a situation where you think you're out of it and now all of a sudden you believe you're back in it. Complete change of the dynamic of the game. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Jostling for the puck but still moves away. And that's poked away by Felino. Great read by Nylander. 
There's the horn bringing period number two to an end. 40 minutes down, 20 to go. Third period action is coming up. Players are set, officials are set. Third period action is coming up. It's gonna throw back to 80s hockey here and we are underway here in the third. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Toronto's pounded their opponent all game long. They put them in vulnerable spots. They've gotten the calls, and when they've gotten on the power play, they've converted. The Leafs look to start the transition game. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. And now it's grabbed by Riley. Grabs it in his own end. Here's a short pass to Riley. Quick shot! Routine glove stopped by Fleury. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Puts it on net. Here's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. Taken along the wall by Marner. The Leafs take it across the blue line. Fires it. That goes wide. It's a straight up race for the puck. And a tenacious effort pays off as he comes up with it. And it's a quick pass to Benoit. Feeds it down low. Here's a pass down low. And that's poked away. Picked up along the wall by Matthews. Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. Toronto's got a second unit that's been explosive tonight and a reason why they're... Two on one, here we go! Dishes it off! And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Bogosian. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Fleury. I mean, here he is on a breakaway. Oh, absolutely clutch at the stop. Oh, you got to love this stuff, James. The game within the game. And this is a one-on-one -on -one battle. And this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Scooped up along the wall by Bertuzzi. Oh, and he completely muffs the shot. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. they got to find a way to play even strength. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. When a power play is executing and it feels right, everyone is clicking. The chemistry just looks like it's synergized. And this team, they're on fire right now. Oh, to Madison with the paddle save. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look. And he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Takes the pass. A ton of goals on the board tonight, and you know that both teams are looking to pad their stats. A lot of players in on the action, and that's the... He scores! And he completes the hat-trick! Well, he's been dipping and buzzing along the ice this entire night. Emily James, and man, do the fans appreciate him. On a deflected shot, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. And he takes the dish. Here's a shot. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Zuccarello's got the puck in his own zone. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. Tavares has the puck against the half wall. Riley's going to play it from the back of the cage. There he is from the slot. Oh, what a stick save. Centering feed! Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Taken by Spurgeon. And less than a minute to go finally in this one. Quick pass to Zuccarello. Toronto's got it in their own zone. From the point, they take control of it. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. 
Puck scooped up by Gregor. Turned aside with the glove by Fleury. What an empty official single and a goal! That's a goal! You never want to see yourself on that screen in the video room on a goal, James. There's been a defensive error, and then you get caught covering up, and everyone gets caught out of position. As a result, it's in the back of your net. Puck grab by Edmondson. For the right wing, he moves it to the middle. And as the final seconds kick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. And that's a smart heads-up play by Edmondson. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Well, an impressive win, and perhaps even more impressive, the special team's performance. Uh, when you have a player advantage almost the entire game, you have to execute, and they did exactly that, a reason why they had a comfortable win. And here they come back out to salute the fans. Well, this is a great feeling. I remember doing this when I was an athlete. You come back.